The Korean aerospace industry's F-A-50 has long been called the Fighting Falcon's little brother, but today we're looking at the new generation, the F-A-50 Block 70, also known as the Block 20 upgrade. This isn't just a trainer with weapons anymore. This is a frontline multi-role fighter, upgraded with advanced radar, weapons, and survivability systems that push it into a new class. So what makes the Block 70 so different from the first-generation F-A-50? Let's break down the upgrades one by one, from sensors to weapons to survivability. Early F-A-50 carried the Israeli ELM-2032 mechanically scanned radar, reliable, but limited. The Block 70 rips it out and replaces it with an AESA radar, either Raytheon's AN APG-79 VX Phantom Strike or the Korean ESR-500A. This means electronically steered beams, faster target tracking, SAR mapping, and GMTI modes for detecting moving ground vehicles. Built on gallium nitride technology, Phantom Strike is air-cooled and compact, perfect for a light fighter. And unlike older radars, it resists jamming and interleaves air-to-air -air with air-to-ground modes simultaneously. Inside the cockpit, the Block 70 brings the Scorpion helmet-mounted display. With it, the pilot can lock and fire an AIM-9 X Sidewinder just by looking at the target. Pair that with Link 16 data link and refreshed UHF VHF radios, and the jet now shares a real-time tactical picture with allied F-16, F-35, and AWACS. And for precision strikes, the jet is wired for the sniper advanced targeting pod, giving it long-range infrared TV sensors and laser designation. First-generation F-A-50 had limited range. The Block 70 changes that with a Cobham aerial refueling probe and 300-gallon external tanks, double the size of the old tanks. That's hundreds of extra nautical miles in range, making it viable for long cap missions and deep strike profiles. Here's where the Block 70 earns its name as a true fighter. AIM-120 AMRAAM, beyond visual range capability. Fire and forget with an active radar seeker. Earlier F-A-50 had no BVR missile at all. AIM-9X Sidewinder, high off bore sight, imaging infrared seeker, lock on after launch and full helmet queuing. Air-to-ground arsenal, JDAMs, laser JDAMs, GBU-12 paveways, and AGM-65 Mavericks, all fully integrated with the sniper pod. That's a huge jump from the first F-A-50, which were limited mostly to iron bombs, unguided rockets, and early LGBs. On defense, the Block 70 retains radar warning receivers and a countermeasure suite of chaff and flares. It can also carry electronic warfare pods like the ALQ-200K. Combined with its AESA radar's electronic protection measures, the aircraft is far more survivable than the early Block 10 jets. The core airframe and General Electric F-404 engine remain unchanged. The F-A-50 Block 70 still pushes around Mach 1.5, with the same agility as before. What's different is the brain and the bite, not the bones. Poland's F-A-50PL includes the Phantom Strike radar, sniper pod, air refueling probe, 300-gallon tanks, and BVR missiles. Malaysia's F-A-50M gets the same AESA radar, sniper pod, and NATO data links. The Philippines refers to its upgraded order as Block 70, essentially the Block 20 kit with BVR weapons and HMD. So the F-A-50 Block 70 isn't a trainer anymore. It's an affordable modern multi-role fighter. With ESA radar, aerial refueling, and AMRAMs, it can fight beyond visual range, strike with precision, and stay in the fight longer. For nations that can't afford fleets of F-35 or Rafales, the Block 70 offers a credible combat solution at a fraction of the cost. Thanks for watching. If you want more deep dives into advanced defense technology, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with fellow aviation fans.